Hey everyone, it's Colt here to tell you about my brand new course I just launched. It's all about HTML and CSS. It's called the HTML and CSS Bootcamp. I know another Udemy course title, they all sound the same, but uh, it's accurate. It covers a ton of HTML and a ton of CSS. It's 37, almost 38 hours. A lot of content and tons of projects. I'm gonna show you those projects and tell you all about the course, but uh, as always, when I launch a course, you can find a coupon to get it for the lowest price I can offer. <laughs> So if you're interested, check that out. It lasts for uh, a couple more days through the end of this week. All right, so this course took me almost seven months to make. It's huge, not just in the, the number of hours. Um, I've made longer courses, but in the amount of projects in the scope of those projects. So let me show you one of the projects. This is the big project we make at the end. It's a, a fancy marketing landing page. It has tons of stuff going on. I'll just quickly show it to you if I scroll down. Most importantly, or most noticeably, this animated gradient header. Um, it probably looks bad recorded. Gradients always look bad on my screen recordings, but it is very nice in person on a screen, not compressed in a video. So this website's almost 2000 lines of CSS. We build it with Flexbox and CSS Grid. Uh, we structure our page like or our, our layout in our CSS like a modern real company would. We use CSS variables all over the place. We use things like pseudo elements and tons of positioning to get these uh, somewhat obnoxious to create lines. It's a, it's a little bit of work to get these angled stripes going and to keep all of our content centered. It's fully responsive, so I'll shrink it down to a mobile-ish size. You can see things scale, reorder, show, and hide. Uh, we go to a one column layout, our nav bar changes to a hamburger button. Um, it looks good on all sizes. We spend a lot of time on that project, but that's just one of many projects. Here's one of the earlier ones. This is a resume website. Here's another one. This is uh, a CSS grid focused project. So we have all these images, different sizes, different aspect ratios, and we have a pretty irregular layout, but they all nestle nicely. And the whole thing is responsive. So they reorganize as I shrink it down. Some of them share the space. Some of them take up multiple rows, multiple columns. And then on a mobile size, we go mostly to a one column layout, except for these two that share a single row. Uh, and the nav bar has a very fancy, fancy animated menu that pops out from the side. And we even animate these individual bars one at a time to make this cool X animation. So it's fully responsive, like all the projects we make. Here's another one. This is our cost estimator project. So it's more of a, a piece of a website, um, but it's a cost estimator widget that includes lots of Flexbox, lots of positioning to make this uh, slider here, to make the uh, underlines here. We use pseudo elements. Same thing here for this little header that says save up to 16%, is that what that says? Um, that's all done with pseudo elements and positioning. We have this project this pottery website, ceramic artist portfolio site. Uh, and we also have this simple one when we learn about typography and units, we make a, a sort of generic blog post. We have many other projects, tons of exercises, and the course covers pretty much everything there is to know in CSS. So all the basics of HTML, which a lot of you probably know, working with forms, semantic markup, tables, that sort of thing. Then we talk about CSS. You'll learn about colors and selectors, the, the technical nitty gritty stuff, the cascade, working with inheritance and importance and source order, specificity, how to style text, of course, the box model, but then more advanced topics like working with transforms and filters and conical gradients, working with uh, flexbox and building layouts. We spend almost 10 hours in this section, a couple of sections are oriented around layout, flexbox and CSS grid. So lots of content on grid, which I've actually never taught in any of my courses. So if you wanna learn CSS grid, check it out. Uh, lots of stuff on responsive design, mobile first versus desktop first design, lots of animations, pseudo elements, working with before and after, building individual components like fancy custom form controls. These are check boxes that you're looking at right here and fancy animated buttons, uh, loading icons or loaders. We talk about CSS variables and we build our final huge project. And that takes takes a long time. That was uh, a lot of work to get that done. And at least a couple of those six and a half months spent on this course were devoted to this final project. I've never had students build something so big with me. It was a lot of work, but I'm super happy with how it turned out. 
So if you know a little bit of HTML and CSS, if you've taken any of, well, I guess really just the web developer bootcamp, if you've taken that course, I covered five or six hours of CSS, kind of the bare minimum, um, because that course is so huge. And it's enough for a lot of people. But if you really want to learn CSS, this is 30 something hours just on CSS. The HTML portion is not that big. It's just two and a half, maybe three hours of content. Everything else is CSS. So if you're interested, check it out. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, there's tons of exercises, quizzes, projects, more CSS than you probably would ever want to know, but it's all about helping you create your own beautiful websites from scratch, and I hope you enjoy it. So check it out. There's a link in the description, and that's pretty much it. All right. Have a great day, everyone.